Tamir from Black Girl Lockdown here, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to preserve your foil nail art manis or nail foil manis. So um, you guys know I've been using a lot of foils recently, um, definitely when I did that scattered foil nail art, and so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your foils last. So uh, this is my stamping mat from Messy Mansion and what I've done is I've put down letters from my Uber Chick Beauty plate indicating which each type of top coat and preservative is going to be that I'm using and I'm going to be putting down foil glue right here onto each one of those sections and after I do that I'll put down foils and then I will be able to test what each one is. So you see the P is for posh, S is for... Um, Sally Hansen, Diamond Flash, and F is for Snug Top Coat, N is for, B. I can't remember what N is for, <laughs> it's for something, and then the other one's for Varnish Glue, and then Gelish Top Coat. Anyway, all of them, I'll go through them again, so I'm just going to start putting glue now, and when you see it go down, this is from Dollar Nail Art and it, it dry it when it goes down it looks kind of weirdly blue but then it dries to a clear finish so you'll see in a minute when i start putting the glue down okay all right here we go so just putting it down like i said and as i put it started putting this down i realized after the fact that i really should have been i should have put like a, a glue or something on it because it's it keeps shrinking up off the, the mat and this mat is from Messy Mansion by the way so I'm going to speed up a little bit and just kind of get that out of the way <laughs> so you guys don't have to spend like 20 minutes watching me pounce through all of the putting just the glue but you see how I said it's kind of um, a bluish tinge when it dries it'll dry eventually clear but it's done. So like I said, it'll dry clear. This glue is from Dollar Nail Art and I'll put a link for that in the bottom. Okay, so now the glue is totally dry. I'm going to start putting down the foil on the dried glue. I didn't time lapse it for you guys because you guys have seen me time lapse the glue before. Um, I'll put a card, but it sucks. So here we go. This foil's also, uh, no, I think I'm lying. Um, I was going to say that this foil is from Dollar Nail Art, but looking at it, I think it's from this giant lot that I got from um, eBay. And it was a really good deal. I got like uh, something like 12, 12 foils for $5 and some were holo and some are kind of this, you know, just regular silvery finish. I'll tell you now, the Sally Hansen one, just looking at how that just went down, I just totally messed that up. <laughs> ah, I suck. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going, putting down the foils, and and then you you can kind of see like if the foil was gonna take it, it already starts kind of coming off when you rub it down. Um, but yeah, just going down each one and putting foil, and making sure that they stick well. So you want to make sure when you actually do this to your real nails that you definitely, definitely put some kind of base underneath of them. Well, a couple things. One, that you put a base so that your nail is actually smooth and, and not peel off base coat. Because I actually tried that before and the peel off base coat took off. Like when I went to pull the foil away, the foil, the nail, the peel off glue and everything came with it. So I was pretty frustrated by that. So just make sure you use a long lasting base coat. Make sure the glue is absolutely dry. And, and by that I mean give it like three or four minutes before you start fooling with it and trying to remove the foil. Otherwise you are going to end up very frustrated like I did not here but in the next one that I go to pull off you're just gonna see you can kind of tell already because there's no indentation it's just gonna come okay so just kidding I know one of these <laughs> you guys are like what the hell no for sure like one of these I swear to god I tr I like literally I, I think it's actually two I pulled it off it's probably this one and the whole thing just came off with it and obviously I don't remember which of the ones 
it was because I filmed afterwards but yeah I was really annoyed by the way this awesome pretty rainbow tweezer I'm using is from girly bits and I love it to death it's super pretty I'm actually also wearing I'm oh, sorry not girly bits it's from KB shimmer and I'm also wearing KB shimmer on my right hand I can't remember what the name of the polish is though uh, so yeah see that <laughs> it's totally just gonna pull itself up nothing attached like the glue and everything just came off so that really sucked I was actually like kind of annoyed by that and one more time it's gonna do that because it wasn't like stuck see yeah see and you can kind of see where the, the foil wanted to stay but the glue or whatever wasn't dry so I'll fix it and come back and they'll all be foiled all right so foil is applied to all of them and as you can see <laughs> with varying degrees of success um so i'm gonna start by just applying posh because that's the piece for to this foil and posh is a fast drying um top coat it's actually my favorite fast drying top coat in the world i have giant bottles of this stuff in my house that i just refill and refill and refill but what you will find with foils and i think this is actually probably true of all fast drying top coats, not just posh, that they crack foils really, really badly. And it's probably because of the formulation and the fast drying, but you can kind of see it already that the foil is cracking up underneath this, uh, the posh. So I'm gonna adjust the camera so that you can see it a little bit better. Um, so you can see what I mean, because yeah look at that so you see how the foil is totally cracked up like that and if you compare it to the ones i haven't even top coated it just looks really bad um so that's not what you, i mean it doesn't look terrible but that's not what you want your foils to look like i'm just shifting it a little bit to see if i can really show you that crinkle but yeah you don't want your foils to look like that um because you just i mean that's that's not ideal so Fast drying posh as a top coat is out on the whole because it's it just doesn't work well. So next, let's do the Sally Hansen Diamond Flash. You guys may know this polish or top coat. I use it all the time as well. It's my second favorite top coat, and it's actually got crushed diamonds in it, or so it says. And this stuff looks amazing over holos. And you can kind of see it it dries quite fast as well actually it's it's another one of those pretty rapid dryers it's dry in like two minutes i mean like dry to the touch like you can touch and it's dry but you can kind of see already this is like cracking up the foil not as bad as the um posh did but yeah it's cracking and what's actually pretty bad is like when i went back to look at this later and you'll see it it actually started shrinking off the foil off of the off of the silicone mat and I was like ah no it was like curling up so that is not you don't want that for your foil so let's try Fnug I hope I'm saying that right it's a aqua base coat and I actually bought this at LaRoe back when LaRoe was still doing lots of different polishes and she was selling Fnug that's when I got the ultra base coat and sorry aqua base coat and the aqua base coats are um let's see they're they're water based yeah they're water based so when they go down they really really do not interfere with the foil very much at all and you'll see here in one second it literally just goes right over the foil and leaves the foil intact there's no wrinkles it just looks fantastic and I think that is gonna hold true of every single water-based product that I'm gonna use here today. It literally just goes on the foil and the foil stays happy. I'll tell you now the reason why this that piece of foil in particular looks so smooth is because I actually put down nail polish first, then the glue, then the foil, which is what I should have done for them all, but hey, you live and you learn. Um, but yeah, see, that looks fantastic. The foil did not crack. so. That is a good option, um, the Fnug. I don't actually know if this one is that readily available, but I'm gonna show you another one that is available absolutely everywhere. And just comparing again, the Posh, the Sally Hansen, and the Fnug, look at how perfect the Fnug looks. It's, it's untouched, basically. So that is what you want your foil to ultimately look like. And you don't want, see what I meant about the Sally Hansen? Look at how it's wrinkling up, terrible. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna do the NFUO 
and that's another one I hope I'm pronouncing correctly the aqua base coat this one is also water based as are all aqua base coats and you're gonna see that it works just like the Fnug going down and I think that the NFUO is probably more readily available than the Fnug um, only because Fnug at least for us US ladies I think it's it's an international polish and that's why LaRue was sourcing it um, so that might one might be harder to get um, if you're an international lady though another good one is uh, gosh aqua base coat that one works quite well too all the aqua base coats are very expensive as far as I know they're like ten ten dollars a bottle or so ten or twelve this includes the Fnug and the NFUO um, so that's kind of the downside to them you can also use a different polish and I talk about this on the related blog post it's called um, Pitcher Polish Revolution and it's their water-based top coat that also works phenomenally well on foils. Um, but, so you see, I'm giving you plenty of time to with these top coats on and you see like the NFUO did nothing. So now I'm gonna be showing you this varnish. It's a water-based varnish. It's made right here in the USA. It's a painter's varnish. Um, you can wash it off of water and it, I mean, it just washes right away. Of all of these, top coats that I'm going to show you it is the slowest drying but it is the most affordable because you can get like eight or 16 ounces for like I don't even know it's nine dollars as opposed to ten dollars for like that half an ounce bottle um and it also as you can see because it's water-based does a great job of just leaving the foils alone so they don't crinkle up and wrinkle as they do with the posh and the Sally Hansen, which you saw, but like, see how the Sally Hansen has like curled itself in its foil piece up off the mat. Like, <laughs> what a freaking disaster! That is not what you want. What you want to happen to your foil? So now I'm gonna do, and I know it's this foil piece kind of has some wrinkles in it, but you're gonna see it anyway because um, the camera that I have is gonna catch it. Um, but just pay attention to how smooth the water-based ones look compared to these um, the fast drying top coats and then compare this to glue because that's what I'm going to do next so this I stands for IBD gel resin glue it's it's a glue that I use pretty consistently um, and it's, it's actually really, really a fantastic glue. The issue is that, and in general I would say, I thought, I, I don't know why I thought this one actually worked quite well over foils, but it doesn't, and you'll see it in a minute. I know it's kind of wrinkled, so it's a little bit hard to see, but it, it's, it cracks over top of this slowly, and you can kind of see it, where it had some wrinkles, but then as it goes along, it gets more and more and more, and I think, the reason that it's cracking like this, so I've done it with glue before and it's preserved my mayonnaise really well, but I think it wasn't the gel resin, it was just the IBD nail glue. So if you're gonna use glue as a choice, then do not get this resin one because the resin one, as you can see, this the whole foil just wrinkled and it's like much more subtle than any of the other ones, but I actually think it's kind of pretty. It has that slight, it's like a very even crackle, but see, like you see the little lines all of a sudden as I just shifted that over. Those were not there at first, so that is not what you want. So last, I'm gonna do Jellish, and this is also, is this IBD? No, this is just Jellish top coat, and it's the kind that you cure in an LED lamp, and but I, it used to be the only way that people knew how to preserve your foils is you would put this on and then gel cure them, but you don't have to do that anymore. And as you can see though, clearly, because we all knew this, it just leaves your foils looking fantastic. All right, so coming back out after looking at all the different samples, um, I think it's pretty clear that some products did better than others with the foils, but you know, you knew that. And I just wanted to show you for comparison sakes, the ones that did the best obviously were the water-based products and the, the gel so you know aqua base coat performed phenomenally the NFUO um, I was so impressed by this one and then 
let me see the varnish that I bought that I was telling you guys about the gel varnish gelish obviously because it works fantastically and then the snug aqua base coat which worked well so anything that's water-based or if you do gels at home it's gonna work um, you can also like I said get that picture polish aqua base revolution coat that I was talking about and that will work well for you too super macros really up close and personal for the last time posh which cracked pretty badly let me see if I can get this actually focused there we go posh which cracked pretty badly um, Sally Hansen which curled um, pretty badly the Fnug, which looks absolutely perfect it looks so fantastic I'm so impressed with that one the NFUO which also looks really beautiful the varnish which is the most affordable the IBD which put this cool crackle effect and then the gelish which also looks fantastic I didn't cure that one so um, but yes yeah, it looks great so now you guys know you have some options when it comes to how you're going to protect your foil manis and what's going to work the best. And maybe if you want to try some effects with the crackle, then like I actually think that that uh, glue looks pretty cool, then you can do that. Um, so yeah, now we know that there are many, many ways that you can preserve your foil manis. I'm going to be using foils more often because I own a crap ton of them and I keep buying them because I don't know. <laughs> I can't stop buying them I wish I could but they're so cool um, but yeah so I'm just gonna zoom back out so I can keep them all in frame but please make sure that you go and check out my blog post that's linked to this I talk a little bit more about the different products and the different options and a little bit more about the picture polish revolution even though I don't personally own it I have put a link to the, the girl who discovered this and um, yeah, you can find all of that there. There's always more information on my blog posts than in my videos, although I try to include all the pertinence. Um, but yeah, next time you do a full mani, you can reference this video, and I will also put all of the links for the different products, including the ones that don't work, in the description box below so you can get them too. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, bye. Thank you.